Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Even though these are substantially grown out, we're going to do the Hailey Bieber nails because I have gotten a couple of requests to do it. So I figured I would go ahead and do it. First up, you're going to build out your nails or just buff your current set. So you have a nice clean surface to work with. I'm literally going to be removing these right after. So I am actually going to take it all the way down. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna take Madame Glam's Perfect White. If you have a milky white, it would be better. I'm right now too lazy to go ahead and mix it with uh, clear. So I'm just going to do white. And again, this is over fake nails, so I don't need a base. If you're doing this on your natural nails, um, go ahead and put your gel base down and then come in with the gel polish after. So I wiped most of it off my brush and I'm wiping most of it on the nail as well. So I like to take off essentially almost everything off the brush so when I go to push back to the cuticle, I'm working with a substantially cleared off brush. I was gonna say something else and then I lost my train of thought, but essentially the brush is nice and cleaned off. Especially for your first coat. I'm pushing back my cuticle here to get a little bit tighter around the cuticle area. Feel free to take a gel polish brush, for instance. I have this one from Madame Glam. It is the Ultra Liner. Okay, just pull back your cuticle. Take the liner right before the cuticle and just kind of push up and around. and I'll get your cuticle nice and perfect. You technically don't need to go in with a second coat here. I am, but literally the cover up will be perfect on this, but just to smooth it out a little bit, um, since I am putting that chrome on top, I am not putting much on this. So if I were doing essentially a white nail, I would have it thin, but I would not have it this thin. Madame Glam has great coverage, but like I said, if you had a milky white, this would be um, a little bit better. So by doing super, super, super thin coats, I'm kind of getting away with that. All right, let's go ahead and repeat the process. I'm going to fast forward so you guys don't have to sit through this. Reached in my chrome drawer, obviously now I have chrome all over me. So the important part here is your chrome. You're going to want to choose a chrome that is not colorful. So there's no underlying color. So this one is just a pearl pigment. Let me show you. For example, see how these have underlying colors? and that one doesn't, you can take a foil glue. Either one will work. You know what, I'm gonna take the foil glue because this is a super thin consistency. And this is from a cart, by the way. Okay, so what you wanna do again, take most of it off your brush in the middle, push back and down to the side. Now this is important that you have nothing sticking up 
that it is super flat. Obviously, mistakes are going to happen, I guarantee, on more than one nails. That will happen for me. So I like to just give it a quick pull down. Give it a second to settle. I think that's super important is that giving it a second to settle is not going to have a bunch of lines in it. Grab yourself an applicator. It could be, you know, a makeup sponge. It could be this. It could be your fingers with gloves. It could be, um, you know, a silicone tool. And what I'm going to do, dip not a ton on that and just go ahead and wipe it in. The reason I like the foil glue is because I find it is a little bit thinner and it just makes going on the nail super smooth and you don't have to worry about usually, I say usually, any weird pieces in it. Just going over with a little bit more. I did scrape it with my sponge a little bit, but that's okay. Let's repeat the process. Again, super thin here. And that's another benefit of the foil glue, which I have said. Because a top coat tends to be thicker. All right, I'm going to give that a second and then gear. Here we go again. Just applying it on and I push back towards that cuticle to make sure I get down there. And a little goes a long way, but also don't be super stingy. <laughs> I know that's like counterproductive here, but. Or contradicting, not counterproductive. I guess this is another good way to extend the life of your uh, nails. Since in reality, you don't really see that indent. Okay. Last one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in the lamp and cure again, even though um, we have already cured. I just like to do a double cure on that. I have stated this in many of my videos use a top coat that you use with glitters or with chrome powders because it will get in there. It will. It will get in there. Now we're going to do two top coats. So do the first one pretty thin. So again, unloading the brush, getting most of it off. And the reason we're going to do two top coats is because we are going to try to prevent chipping. Obviously, chipping is probably going to happen, especially if you don't do this trick or something similar. The good vibes win. I don't know if you have a no white top coat or not. I do not. So I am just wiping off the tacky layer and anything that is surrounding because we are going to break the seal. I know, sounds counterproductive, but I promise it is the right thing to do. All right, so I'm breaking that seal I just created, I know, it's taboo, 
but trust me, you'll thank me in the long run. Take Young Nails Protein Bond. I know, follow me, it's fine. Okay, go just around the edges. You're not going to see this, so it's perfectly fine. Mine's almost out, so bear with me. Okay, give that a second to dry. All right, now that that's dry, we are going to apply our second layer, making sure to get over those edges now. So you really want to make sure that you're over the edges. So I like to go over the edge and then I like to swipe down, finishing it. So it's essentially do it on top, go down the sides and then re-swipe over because we are dispersing the gel at first and then I make sure to get it under there and then swipe on top. Again, swipe on top, get most of the gel off and then coming around, making sure my brush swipes under there. my hands to get most of that chrome powder off and I just touched my table where there was more chrome powder. All right, here are your pearl nails. Again, excuse the growth. It's obviously not balanced correctly, but overall you guys get the idea behind it. I promise you if you do that first top coat, break the seal, add that Young Nails Protein Bond and then do your second coat. This bad boy will not go anywhere. And Chrome is definitely, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, likes to chip a lot. So if you do that, you definitely will help yourself. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this Hailey Bieber inspired manicure. I will go ahead and link everything that I used below. Thank you guys so much for watching and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.